Welcome to this video. Today, you're going to learn the difference between do you and are you. Of course, I'm Jennifer from j4senglish.com and this channel is dedicated to helping you feel confident speaking English in public so you can take your career and your life to the next level. Now, before we go any further, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon so you're notified every time I post a new lesson. Now, let's dive in with this video. In this video, let's talk about the difference between are you and do you. Both of these are question forms in the present simple, but they use different verbs and different structures. So let's begin with are you. Now, are, of course, is the verb to be. So are you is forming a question in the present simple using the verb to be. Our subject is you. So that's why we need are because that's the conjugated verb to be with our subject you. Now we use the verb to be in the present simple for facts, facts about the world or facts about ourselves as well. For example, I could ask you, because remember this is a question, so you're going to ask someone about a fact. So I could ask you, are you American or British? Are you? Are you American or British? Now another fact would be your job. So I could ask you, are you a software engineer? Now I could also ask you a fact about your physical description and I could ask you, for example, are you tall? Assuming we're chatting and I can't see you, so I don't know if you're tall or not, and I could ask, are you tall? Now let's take a look at the sentence structure. Because using the verb to be in question form, we use something called inversion. So we take our subject and our verb, which would be the structure for a positive sentence, and we invert them, which means we switch them. So our sentence structure for questions using the verb to be in the present simple is verb plus subject plus object. So we know our verb is the verb to be are, and we know our subject is you because we're only talking about are, so our subject and our verb need to conjugate, are you, and then I just need my object, the question, the rest of the sentence. Are you tall? Now keep that sentence structure in mind while we take a look at do you. Do you is also a question form in the present simple. The difference is do is an auxiliary verb, which means do doesn't have any meaning in that word. It's only there grammatically. So to have meaning in the sentence, we need a main verb. Do is the auxiliary verb and we still need a main verb. Now in the present simple, I'm going to ask you about yourself or about your routine. So for example, I could ask, do you live in London? So of course here, live is our main verb but I need my auxiliary verb do. Do you live in London? I can't just do inversion with my subject and verb. If I did that, it would be live you in London, live you in London, and we know that isn't grammatically correct for English sentence structure. So we need our auxiliary verb do and do is conjugated with our subject, you. Do you live in London? Another question, do you have a dog? So here, have is our main verb, but I can't say, have you a dog? So I need, do you have a dog? I need my auxiliary verb, do. So compare our two sentence structures because here our sentence structure is auxiliary verb, subject, main verb. Auxiliary verb is do because our subject is you and do conjugates with the subject you. Do, you, and now we need a main verb 
but the form of this is the base verb, which means it's the infinitive without to. So to live, we get rid of to, and we have live. Do you live? And then the rest of the sentence, the object. So with are you, our sentence structure was verb, subject, object. Do you, our sentence structure is auxiliary verb, do, subject, main verb, which is the base verb, and then the object. They are both used in question form with the present simple. And this is something that you absolutely must know to understand basic English sentence structure. So now it's your turn to practice. I want you to leave two questions in the comments below, one with do you and one with are you. And if you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, share it with your friends, and of course, subscribe. And until next time, happy studying. Awesome job with this video. You're really getting comfortable with basic English grammar and basic English sentence structure. Make sure you leave those example sentences and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.